Welcome to the 2021 NESPYs and N Club Induction Ceremony. Please welcome your hosts from the SAC Executive Board, Eric McIntosh and DJ Huang. Hello and welcome everyone to the 2021 NESPYs and N Club Induction. We have a number of awards to present tonight and many student athletes to recognize. DJ and I are honored to be opening up the show this evening. My name is Eric McIntosh. I'm a senior on the men's golf team and a member of our Student Athlete Advisory Committee Executive Board, also known as SAC. DJ? Yeah, thanks, Eric. My name is DJ Huang. I'm a senior on the swimming and diving team and a member of our Student Athlete Advisory Committee Executive Board, also known as SAC. For those that don't know, SAC, Avenue for Student Voice, intentionally working to connect our student athletes to administration to enhance the student athlete experience. We also host community events, such as the Camp Food Drive, the winter TikTok battle, and of course, our end of the year award show. We wanted to take a moment to acknowledge this past year. I mean, this past year really has been the most extraordinary year in all of college athletics. Together, we've endured times of uncertainty, pauses in our sports, online classes. DJ, I've seen you so many times on a Zoom call this year and countless other challenges that have come with the pandemic. Right, I mean, together, we have also experienced a closeness with our teams like no other. I mean, comeback wins, personal records, and program firsts. We experienced the highs and lows together. And in a year where the lows seem to have stolen too much of the spotlight, tonight is about the highs, because there are a lot of them. Cats, alums, parents, family, coaches and staff, we are excited to celebrate with you and close out our year on a high. But before we celebrate our amazing seniors, we turn to those awards traditionally presented at the NESPYs. We start with a big award presented to the two outstanding student athletes, and the nominees for Big Ten Athletes of the Year. Here to present our first award, please welcome Deputy Dir Athletic Director Kevin White. Take it away, Kevin. The Big Ten Athlete of the Year Awards are given annually to an outstanding male and female athlete in the Big Ten. Northwestern nominates two student athletes to represent the university in conference voting. I am proud to announce that Northwestern's 2021 Big Ten Male Athlete of the Year nominee is from wrestling. So please join me in congratulating this year's Big Ten Male Athlete of the Year nominee Ryan Deacon. Congrats, Ryan. Ryan Deacon continued to cement his status as one of the top wrestlers in the nation in 2021. The Broomfield, Colorado native captured his second straight Big Ten championship while securing a third straight All-America honored 157 pounds, putting him in rare company as one of just four Wildcat wrestlers ever to accomplish both feats. After a shortened regular season, Deacon stormed into the conference championships and left no doubt as he defended his Big Ten crown, winning his three matches by a combined 28 to one margin. At the 2021 NCAA championships, Deacon secured the highest national finish of his career with a third place showing to help the Wildcats to a top 10 national finish. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate, um, you know, all the support around Northwestern and um, just the family around here. It's amazing. And I think it's just makes it so much easier when everybody's um, behind you. And it's it's been amazing to be a part of, feel so lucky to be a part of this university um, and really thankful for, you know, all the support and, and, and guys like Storniolo and, and just the whole athletic department. Our nominee for Big Ten Female Athlete of the Year is from lacrosse, none other than junior Izzy Skane. Congrats, Izzy. Izzy Skane is the face of women's lacrosse in 2021. The Big Ten Attacker of the Year and First Team All-American leads the country in goals scored, goals per game, points, and points per game. Her 6.27 goals per game average is on pace to smash the NCAA all-time record while helping Northwestern claim both the Big Ten regular season and tournament titles and the number two overall seed in the NCAA tournament 
Skane has lit up the scoreboard, tallying six games with eight or more goals. She set a Northwestern single game record with 10 goals in a win over Rutgers in March. The Clarkston, Michigan native is one of five finalists for the 2021 Tuareton Award, presented annually to the top college lacrosse player in the United States. Thank you for everything this season. I mean, um, obviously you can say like I, you can talk about my stats or whatever, but it all comes down to just the amazing team we have and coaching staff. And I think this year was super awesome. And um, just being back was amazing. So anything that could have happened this year, I'll take it. It's a lot better than staying at home, not being able to play the sport we love. So um, I appreciate everything you do and all the coaching staff. And um, yeah, the credit goes to the team. They're, they're pretty awesome. They make me look good for sure. It's just happen to get the credit for it sometimes, but all of it's them, they're, they're awesome. But thank you so much for this, it's awesome. Please welcome Assistant Director of Community Relations, Ashley Wandlin, to present the Cats Give Back Community Outreach Award. As you know, every year, student athletes from all 19 of our programs support our community through volunteerism, through service, and through their involvement in tons of different programming and initiatives. As part of this year's Nespies, the Cats Give Back Community Outreach Award recognizes one male and one female student athlete who have made a tremendous impact in both the Evanston and Chicago communities. I wish this could be said and done in person, um, but I'm honored, very honored today to announce that Joe Spivak and Mackenzie Keegan are the recipients of this year's award. So congratulations. There is truly yeah, no bad. one more deserving for, of this award than you two. A forward on the field hockey team, Mackenzie Keegan has also run the offense for NU's community outreach during her time in Evanston. A member of the Civic Engagement Committee, Keegan played an active role in the Big Ten Conference's voting campaign and hosted a conversation around political polarization. She also supported United as One Reading Week, an initiative connecting student athletes to youth in the community through stories that highlighted black history. In addition, Keegan participated in National Girls and Women in Sports Day, the SAC Can Food Drive, Dance Marathon, and led a clinic for youth at Jesse Owens Elementary School in Chicago. Joe Spivak's outstanding performance on the field is matched by his incredible impact off it. As vice president of the Northwestern chapter of Uplifting Athletes, Joe coordinated efforts to raise money and awareness for the rare disease community. During the fall 2020 season, the football team raised nearly $4,500 through the touchdown pledge drive, and Spivak was named to the Uplifting Athletes Rare Disease Champion Team. A frequent visitor to Lurie Children's Hospital and Family Focus, Spivak also was involved in the Big Ten Conference's United as One Reading Week, working to highlight black history to local elementary school students. Thank you, Ashley. You're, you're the best, Ashley. Ashley, you're putting so much in front of us and like from an uplifting athlete standpoint, like we have worked with people in the past that like aren't as willing and you just are so the polar opposite. So we, we can't thank you enough from there. And obviously this is just so humbling. So thank you. And obviously congrats to you, Mac too. This is awesome. Thank you. You too, Joe. Thank you, Ashley. It was an honor to work with you for civic engagement. It was such an awesome committee and we couldn't have done it without you. So thank you. To present the top team GPA, please welcome faculty athletics representative and interim athletics director, Bob Gunlock. This past year has been a very challenging year for students across the country and across the world. I'm very proud of our Northwestern student athletes for the energy, focus, and grit they have shown as students. And it is a special honor as a longtime faculty athletics representative and as the current interim athletic director to present the Team High. GPA award. This award is given to the team with the highest grade point average for the calendar year 2020. The winner this year is women's golf, whose cumulative grade point average for the year 2020 has been 3.686.
Congratulations. To present the award for Newcomer of the Year, please welcome our newest Wildcat head coach from men's soccer, Russell Payne. As the newest head coach at Northwestern University, I'm honored to present an award recognizing the great accomplishments of new members of our NUDAR family. The Newcomer of the Year Award recognizes one male and one female student athlete for their performance in their first year in Evanston. As voted on by you, the Wildcat student athlete community, this year's female newcomer of the year is Sky Miller from fencing. Saberus Sky Miller posted a 20 and one pool record at the NCAA fencing championships and route to a second place national finish, the highest individual finish in program history. A native of Durham, North Carolina, Miller earned all America honors. Now let's recognize our male newcomer of the year from football, Brandon Joseph. Brandon Joseph led the nation with six interceptions and his 52 tackles were fourth on the team. The College Station Texas native was the first Big Ten defensive rookie to become a consensus All-American, in addition to being named the AP Big Ten Newcomer of the Year. Please welcome last year's recipients of the Pomerantz Family Willie the Wildcat Award, Kristen Connolly of field hockey and Robbie White of men's soccer. Hey cats, established through the generosity of the Pomeranz family in 2010, the Pomeranz family Willie the Wildcat Award is a pre presented annually to one male and one female varsity student athlete who embodies pride, perseverance, responsibility, integrity, dedication, and education. The winners also maintain academic excellence in the classroom, display the athletic excellence and sportsmanship in competition, give freely for their time and energy in the community, show a commitment to his or her personal and professional development, provides leadership within the athletic community through participation in either SAC, Purple, or their team, and actively supports peers throughout the Northwestern community. All right, so Lindsay McCone, I am honored to announce you are the 2021 Pomeranz Family Willie the Wildcat Award winner. And DJ Wong, I'm honored to announce that you are also the 2021 Pomeranz Family Willie the Wildcat winner. Lindsay McCone's leadership has been felt not only in the lacrosse program, but across the entire athletic department. After working her way into the starting lineup at the end of her first season, McCone started all 65 games over the last four years, a first-team All-Big Ten honoree this season, and third-team All-American in 2020. McCone led the team in assists in both 2019 and 20, and was in the top three in goals scored and draw controls won. Off the field, she's been heavily involved in the Purple Peer Mentor Program, joining as the lacrosse representative in 2018 before being elected to the exec board the following year. A three-year exec board member, McCone spearheads wellness initiatives for the department and helped to implement the Green Bandana Project, bringing awareness to mental health initiatives. DJ Huang has demonstrated all of the characteristics of a student athlete who excels academically, athletically, and socially at Northwestern. A two-time academic All-Big Ten honoree and CSCAA Scholar All-American, Huang was a team captain for swimming and diving this season. In the pool, Huang was a finalist in the 1650 at the Big Ten Championships and often the fastest wildcat in the 1,000 free. But away from the water, he's been even more outstanding. A SAC exec rep and Big Ten SAC representative, he has helped organize the student lip sync battle, the NU for Life event for first year students, and served on the diversity, equity, and inclusion committee. Huang has led the men's swimming and diving team and community service hours in each of the last three years. I mean, I feel like everyone, you two especially, kind of know what it's like to be a Northwestern athlete and to like lead through various um, ways, either through Engage or Purple or whatever. So it's it's awesome that you guys are able to present that to us, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. And for me, this award, you know, it, it means a lot. Um, but I believe, you know, I'm every day I'm inspired by by everyone else in the athletic department. You know, I'm always learning, and I'm I'm always learning from my peers, learning from my teammates, learning from everyone else from across different sports teams and whatnot. So. You know, to, to be able to receive this award truly is truly is an honor. Now for more awards you voted on. To announce our play and performance of the year, 
please welcome Mari Anist from women's soccer, Tatiana Hardwick from volleyball, and Julia Shilansky from fencing. This year has generated some amazing Northwestern highlights. The list was whittled down to the best five plays of the year, and last week, student athletes were invited to vote for the play of the year. This year, the winner is Brandon Joseph from football. Justin Fields steps into his throw, end zone. Oh my goodness, is that an interception? Brandon Joseph with the sixth interception of the season leads the nation now, and you will never see a better pick than that. And now I move on to reveal the winner of the 2020-21 Performance of the Year, also voted on by you, the student athletes. There were so many great moments, we split this award into two categories, Performance of the Year by an individual and by a team. Thanks to everyone for voting. This year, the best performance of the year by an individual is Izzy Skane. Go Izzy. That is. In a season full of impressive performances, Izzy Skane was at the top of her game on March 19th when the junior set a school record by scoring 10 goals in a game at Rutgers. The junior needed just 11 shots on goal to accomplish that feat, part of a 22-10 Wildcats win. And now for the team award. This year's performance of the year by a team goes to... Lacrosse on winning the Big Ten Championship. Go Lacrosse! Congratulations! Tied with Maryland at halftime, Lacrosse opened the second half with four goals in less than four minutes and never looked back, winning the Big Ten Tournament Championship in May to go along with its regular season title. Izzy Skane scored nine goals to lead all players in the 17-12 Wildcats win. Please welcome Deputy Athletics Director Jana Blay to give this year's Comeback of the Year Award. Congratulations to all the winners so far. It has been an absolute privilege to watch you compete. This year has presented such a unique set of obstacles and challenges for all of us that highlighting just a few of you for your efforts didn't seem right. So instead of giving an individual award for the Comeback of the Year, I am here today to give it to each and every one of you. You all have come back from so much over the past year. You continue to inspire us all with your resiliency and purpose. We are in awe by everything that you have achieved over the last 12 months. In recognition of all that we have accomplished as a Northwestern family, let's take a look back at this unforgettable year. What's going on around here? And what's special about you guys? Today's mission is to play with pride for Northwestern and play for our seniors. Come on, this is our yeah. day. If you work for it. One, 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 two, three. One, 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 one,
Please welcome Associate AD for Career Enhancement and Employer Relations, Amanda Brown, to take us into the 93rd Annual N Club Induction. We continue today's celebration with a 93-year tradition of inducting graduating student-athletes into the former Letter Winners Club. Seniors, we have so enjoyed our time working with you on campus over the years and look forward to partnering with you as alumni programming participants, future employers, and N Club members. The N Club is Northwestern's National Alumni Club of Wildcat Letter Winners, representing over 4,500 former student-athletes, Spirit Squad members, trainers, team managers, and honorary N recipients. This gives you an incredible network of alums to tap into, just a small sampling of whom you've met with through the Kimbiller NU for Life programming over the years. I would now like to invite women's tennis letter winner, Northwestern Athletics Hall of Famer, and current N Club president, Alexis Prusis to administer the N Club Oath. Thank you, Amanda. As mentioned, I played tennis at Northwestern, graduating in 2007, and I'm in my second year serving as president of the N Club. It is an honor for us to welcome another amazing class today, 93 years after the inaugural N Club induction banquet on May 25th, 1928 at the North Shore Hotel. 200 inductees, including undergraduates and alumni, attended the first banquet, and we are excited to be joined by many more today tuning in online. Tonight's class continues that important Northwestern tradition more than 90 years later. Our core mission is to support Northwestern athletics and our student athletes, but we also aim to help N Club members maintain a lifelong relationship with the university and the athletic department. All that we do is possible thanks to the support of the letter winners who came before you. So as soon to be lifetime members of the N Club, we hope you too will support the N Club and Northwestern athletics in the future. N Club members share a common bond. And together we have shared unforgettable experiences through varsity athletics at Northwestern. Graduates, I congratulate all of you on the education you have earned in the classroom, through competition and volunteering in the community. I tell you from my experiences, all of this will undoubtedly serve you well throughout your lives. At this time, I'd like to ask our N Club inductees to please stand. Yes, I know we are not in the same room, but there is unity in doing this across the country and world together. So please stand, raise your right hand and listen as I read the N Club pledge. At the end, I'll ask you a question. If you agree, your response is, I will. As a lifetime member of the N Club of Northwestern University, I am proud and grateful for what Northwestern has done for me through athletics. In evidence of this pride and appreciation, I pledge to sustain the athletic prowess of Northwestern by encouraging men and women of the finest type to attend the university and to participate in athletics. By lending encouragement and aid to athletic enterprises and by striving to reflect the ethics of good sportsmanship taught on the athletic fields of Northwestern University. Do you hereby agree to abide by and uphold the principles of the N Club pledge? Thank you all. You are now lifetime members of the N Club. Congratulations. Now that our 2021 student athletes have been inducted, it's time to induct this year's honorary N. I'm excited to announce that we have two very deserving inductees this year. To introduce the recipients, please welcome the 2002 Honorary N, the voice of the Wildcats, WGN Radio Sports Director, Dave Ennett. Alexis, thank you. It's always an honor to be able to celebrate the accomplishments of Northwestern Athletics. As mentioned tonight, we have two honorees. The first is a 1961 Northwestern graduate with a Master's of Art in Education. After marrying Wildcats wrestling coach Ken Kraft in 1962, she began a lifelong association with Northwestern Athletics that included an instrumental role in running the annual Midlands Wrestling Tournament. Please join me in welcoming to the N Club, Marjo Kraft. Thank you, Board of Directors. I'm very pleased to be included as an honorary member of the N Club. In 1960, after teaching high school level physical education and modern dance, I chose to complete my master's of education at Northwestern and study under Delta Bannister, who was then the director of the modern dance department. In addition, I received a teaching assistantship, which I enjoyed very, very much. 
I'll never forget my first day on campus. The beauty of the beach, lake, and architecture just blew me away. It was gorgeous. My office was located in Patton Gym. It housed all the coaches' offices except football, and they were out at the stadium. It housed all the PE classes, the swimming pool. There was a basketball court there, the dance studio, and the wrestling facilities. One day while climbing the steps of Pat and Jim, I met Ken Kraft, the wrestling coach at Northwestern. He was a grad with a master's in athletic administration. We married in 1962 and joined the Northwestern family for 64 years. Having participated in many sports myself, I thoroughly understood details of Ken's coaching job and later athletic administrator. Our family of two girls enjoyed many sporting events, including helping their dad run the Ken Craft Midlands Wrestling Tournament, which is still going on today. The N Club was and is today very important for athletes to come together. Ken was very active in the N Club and served as president in the 80s. Together, we attended and hosted dinners, receptions, award ceremonies, pre-football games, and luncheons. It is a very, very special place for past, present, and future athletes. NU has been and always will be a part of my life. I am so proud to be included in the nine members of my family with Northwestern degrees. Finally, Congratulations to the seniors this year. Choose your career carefully and be prepared for the next journey into your future. Thank you. Welcome to the M Club, Marjo. We're also inducting the winningest soccer coach in Northwestern history. In 20 seasons in Evanston, his team's made nine NCAA appearances and won both the Big Ten regular season and tournament championship. Please join me in welcoming to the N Club, Tim Lenahan. I'm very honored to be inducted uh, as an honorary N Club member. Um, for those who don't know, I scored one goal at Division Three, and was a former IT guy. So for my name to share um, this great honor with all the great athletes that have come through Northwestern is very special for me. I want to send a special thank you to Marjo Kraft and all the support that she gave Ken uh, through the years. And again, I'm, I'm very honored to be uh, included with her on tonight's festivities. Um, quick Ken Craft story. Ken interviewed me for the job uh, in 2001. And as a 13 year old boy in 1972, I was obsessed with sports and particularly the Olympics. So the fact that I knew that Alexander Medved defeated Chris Taylor in the semifinals of the heavyweight championship of the 1972 wrestling Olympics, um, I think held more value than any of my soccer knowledge because Ken was an announcer in 1972. So I always say that Alexander Medved helped me get my job at Northwestern. But again, Ken was just a wonderful, wonderful person and an absolutely great representative of Northwestern. And again, very proud um, to be included with him. Um, like many of you, it's been a challenging year for all of us um, with unprecedented uh, pandemic happening. And, and we've both been in the same boat for the last year in that, you know, the joy of knowing that we were going to complete this journey and also the sadness of knowing that it was going to be over. But here we are and we did it. I want to thank all the amazing coaches that I've had the pleasure to work with since 2001, uh, especially as I like to call the Rick Taylor Five. That would be Kelly Amonti, Kate Rohan, Claire Pollard, and Pat Goss. Uh, just an absolutely iconic coaches that I've shared the last 20 years with and all the other coaches that have come and some who have gone. Um, it's just an honor to be included with that group. Um, before we wrap up, I'd like to share a couple Lennyisms, as my players like to say. 
um, things that you roll your eyes at, but maybe take with you as you go on uh, through this journey called life. And one of them is that nice guys do finish first. The givers will far um, be more successful than the takers. And one of my sayings, it's better to believe in the goodness of people and be wrong once in a while than to believe in the bad in people and to be right once in a while. So hopefully you can take that little nugget with you. And lastly, I'd like to just say that, you know, give, if you give more than you get, you will end up getting more than you gave. And I can tell you over the last 20 years, I've gave this place everything I had, every ounce of energy I've had for 20 years. And in return, we were able to win three Big Ten championships, make the Sweet 16 four times, make the Elite Eight twice, and the NCAA tournament nine times. But what I got in return would far outweighed anything I gave in terms of the relationships that I've been able to forge with coaches and the amazing players that I've had the opportunity to coach for the last 20 years. It's 2021 again, and we have a new journey for us, both of us, um, all of us. Um, although I'm stepping down from coaching, there's a lot of things I look forward to doing in the future. And I know that all of you out there have a lot of things ahead for you. And I'm excited to see the journey for both of us. I'll end with this, and this goes for both all of us. Okay, there's a great line from Hamilton, the play where he said, there's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait, just you wait. So for the class of 2021 in the end club of which now I am an official member. And I think I will share with people when they say what year to graduate Northwestern, I'm gonna say 2021. Um, um, there's a million things we haven't done, but just you wait. Congratulations to everyone. And I look forward to seeing great things ahead for you. Go Cats. Congratulations again to all our N Club inductees. Now let's get back to some awards. Please welcome Spirit Squad coordinator, Valerie Ruiz, to announce the N Club Spirit and Support Award. The N Club Spirit and Support Award is presented to the Northwestern Spirit Squad member, student manager, or sports medicine aide who is graduating with the highest grade point average among his or her graduating peers. Whether they are cheering at a game, representing athletics as Willie the Wildcat, getting practices set up and ready, or cleaning up the equipment room after a game. This dedicated group of undergraduate students devotes significant hours throughout the year, often behind the scenes, to contribute to the success of our teams while maintaining their own excellence in the classroom. This year's recipient is Zoe Harding, a member of our Spirit Squad. Zoe is graduating with a 3.944 GPA with a major in linguistics and minors in legal studies and psychology. Congratulations, Zoe. Hello, and thank you so much. I feel so honored to be receiving this award. Um, and I would just like to thank every single person that I've had the honor of calling a teammate over the last four years. Um, I think everyone on this team deserves more recognition for their hard work, dedication, and resiliency. I feel so appreciative for all of the amazing people that Northwestern Cheerleading has brought into my life and all of the love and support that they've shown me over the years. Thank you again for this award and go Cats! To present our next two awards, please welcome the Comb family head lacrosse coach Kelly Amati Hiller and football assistant coach and 2006 Northwestern graduate Tim McGarrigal. The N Club Performance Award is presented in recognition of spectacular and outstanding athletic performance by a graduating senior. You know, there's there's really no one that's more deserving than you uh, for this. Your work ethic is just undeniable, and you're an amazing leader, an amazing person, and I'm really excited to announce that you, Lauren Gilbert, are the 2021 N Club Performance of the Year winner. It is my privilege to share with you, Patty Fisher. You are the 2021 N Club Performance of the Year winner. Congrats, Patty. Lauren Gilbert had a banner year in 2021 as a key piece of Northwestern's high-octane offense. 
the Lake Oswego, Oregon native ranked second on the team in goals scored and points, while leading the Wildcats in free position goals. A first-team all-conference honoree, Gilbert led Northwestern to its first-ever Big Ten regular season title and finished the regular season ranked fourth nationally in goals scored and seventh in the free position percentage. In addition to her conference recognition, she was named first team all region by the IWLCA and second team all America by Inside Lacrosse. The first three year captain in the Pat Fitzgerald era, Patty Fisher finished his collegiate career by becoming just the sixth player in Northwestern history to surpass 400 career tackles and setting a school record with 11 forced fumbles. While making 47 career starts at middle linebacker, Fisher led Northwestern to a pair of Big Ten West Division titles and a trio of bowl championships. In 2020, Fisher was named the Big Ten's Fitzgerald Butkus Linebacker of the Year, while also picking up consensus first-team All-League honors and AFCA second-team All-America recognition. The Katy, Texas native was also named the 2021 Lot Impact Trophy winner for his leadership and work in the community, in addition to his contributions in competition. I'm just really thankful to be a part of the Northwestern family, but specifically Northwestern lacrosse. Um, I mean, it's, it's really the best, the best experience of my life and the best thing that I could ever imagine giving back to every single day. So um, yeah, I just want to thank you for making that possible for me to be able to do. Wildcat family. It's truly an honor and a pleasure to be named the recipient of the end club performance award on behalf of Northwestern football, coach Fitzgerald, coach Hankwitz, Coach McGargle and the entire NU staff, I would like to accept this award. Thank you for all that you have done for me and given me the best four years of my life. And thank you to the Yen Club for all that you have given and sacrificed to make the best experience for us as student athletes. Sending you my best from Charlotte, and as always, the end never comes off. Go Cats! To present the Yen Club Achievement Awards, we welcome football assistant coach Dennis Springer and head men's tennis coach Arvid Swan. The End Club Achievement Award is given to Wildcats who ex exhibited good citizenship, significant academic achievement, and outstanding athletic performance. This year, we have two male and two female recipients. It is my privilege to share with you, Ramad Chakiel Bowman, RCB, that you are a 2021 End Club Achievement Award winner. Congratulations, my man, proud of you. It is my privilege to share with you, Dominic, that you are a 2021 N Club Achievement Award winner. Congratulations. Ramon Chalkeo Bowman made the most of his senior season, equaling his production from his first three years in just nine games last fall and leading the Wildcats in receiving yards and touchdowns. A three touchdown game against Purdue helped Chalkeo Bowman earn honorable mention all Big Ten honors. A two-time academic All-Big Ten and NFF Hampshire Honor Society honoree, he also made his mark within the Nudar family by serving as a leader within his locker room and beyond as a champion of diversity, equity, and inclusion. A two-time Big Ten tournament singles champion, Dominic Sterry spent the majority of his Northwestern career as the Wildcats starter at number one singles. A five-time All-Big Ten honoree, Sterry posted a 23-9 record this spring between singles and doubles, including winning his final seven completed singles matches and partnering with teammate Chris Efron on a 10-match doubles win streak. An NU for Life executive board member and SAC team representative, Sterry has also excelled in the classroom. Just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for this award. Nothing I accomplished at Northwestern would have been possible without the sports staff, academic staff, my coaches and my teammates. Uh, I just want to make sure I give big ups to the boss woman herself, Felicia. She was there for me. You were there for me uh, whenever, for whatever. And I won't be able to thank you enough. And of course, big, big, big ups to them boys. Yeah, PG, y'all boys keep working, keep being y'all, and do work.
Um, so once again, thank you so much uh, for receiving this award. It is a great honor and I'm super grateful for my five years here at Northwestern for being able to, part, to be part of the Northwestern family. And especially thank you uh, to the coaches, Arvid Swan and then Chris Klingerman. They have done so much for me over the course of five years. And I'm just super grateful that I could have been part of the Northwestern Tennis Program. Um, and go Cats. To present the female award winners, please welcome head field hockey coach, Tracy Fuchs, and director of swimming and diving, Katie Robinson. It is my privilege to share with you, Kristen Conley. You are a 2021 N Club Achievement Award winner. Congratulations. A mainstay in the field hockey back line over the last four years, Kristen Conley has been one of the top point scorers for the Wildcats during her time in Evanston, leading the team in assists this season. Conley rose to the occasion in Northwestern's biggest contest with six career postseason assists, including two in a win over Delaware in the first round of the 2021 NCAA tournament. A team captain, Conley served on the Engage Executive Board and is a member of the Big Ten Conference's Anti-Hate and Anti-Racism Coalition. Thank you so, so much, uh, Northwestern community. This is such a, an amazing honor. Um, I really appreciate and I'm so grateful for the four years that I've had here. There are so many people within, you know, this university, but especially this department that I've really helped me through, uh, throughout the way. Hasn't been super easy, but I'm so grateful for all the lessons that I've learned uh, and I've truly developed into someone that, you know, I'm very proud of who I've been able to, to uh, develop into thanks to all you guys as uh, just amazing people who have helped me along the way. Um, very special thanks to my coaches, Tracy, Georgia, Will, just for, you know, believing in me and offering me such an awesome opportunity. Um, and also, you know, those in student development uh, that I've been so honored to work alongside, um, you know, Candence, Maria, Felicia, you guys are awesome, as well as the other student athletes that I've worked with. You guys really inspire me and push me every day to, you know, be the best and, you know, really develop into someone that, you know, I'm proud of. So uh, thank you all. You guys have all been so integral to my experience and um, looking forward to what comes next and looking forward to seeing all the other, you know, student athletes continue to develop who are, you know, returning. So thank you so much and go Cats. It is my privilege, Sophie Angus, to announce that you are not only the 2021 N Club Achievement Award winner, but, but there's more. You are, you are also the 2021 NCAA Woman of the Year nominee from Northwestern University. <laughs> NCAA Woman of the Year Award recognizes individual excellence in three areas that we hold dear here in Evanston, athletics, academics, and community service. Each NCAA institution has the opportunity to nominate a senior who participates in athletics during the current school year to be their NCAA Woman of the Year, and that nominee will be eligible for selection as the Conference Woman of the Year. A leader in and out of the pool, Sophie Angus held the Northwestern record in the 100 breaststroke for most of this year and was a part of a team record setting 200 medley relay. At the Big Ten Championship, she posted three top three podium finishes and she finished eighth in the 100 breast at the NCAA Championships to earn All-America honors. A team captain and purple peer mentor, Angus has organized the Breaststroke for Breast Cancer fundraiser event each year she's been on campus, helping to raise more than $21,000 for the Lynn Sage Foundation. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be receiving this award, especially with such a crazy year we've had. Um, this team has come a long way in the four years that I've been here. And so to be uh, swimming with such incredible individuals every day has been um, such an honor and so fun. Um, and I really wouldn't have achieved all, all that I have without all my teammates um, alongside me. Uh, and I thank my coaches uh, for getting me so far. Uh, they believe in me more than anyone. Um, and again, Northwestern has been the most amazing experience and I'm really excited to get to stay around for one more year and take a fifth year here and just see how far we can really push this program. So thank you again. Please welcome NAA President and University Trustee Larry Irving to honor this year's Alumni Association Awards. 
The Northwestern Alumni Association Award is presented to the top graduating student athletes from each varsity team. Student athletes must have at least a 3.0 GPA to be eligible. Please join me in celebrating these outstanding individuals. On behalf of the Northwestern Alumni Association, thank you. It's been a tough year for all of us, and I know that many of us across the globe have spent hours watching the football team, the lacrosse team, the basketball teams. All of you great student athletes have helped us get through this. We're sorry that we couldn't be with you in person, but please know that there's a global community of more than a quarter of a million people who are appreciative of the fact that you are great students and you're great athletes, and you celebrate Northwestern every time you hit any field, pitch, or court. Thank you again for all you do for Northwestern. From softball, please welcome head coach Kate Drohan, and from women's tennis, head coach Claire Pollard. Well, here I am with Morgan Newport out at the J. Um, and Newp, uh, I've got some things I want to share with you here, so uh, I'm just going to get right to it, OK? <laughs> So the Lisa Ishikawa Award is presented to a senior female student athlete who has exhibited outstanding leadership ability, selfless dedication to the team, you, and all of the team goals. Uh, Ishikawa's determination and positive attitude on the softball diamond led to her to perform above and beyond the expected. The three-time All-American was the NCAA single season strikeout record for nearly a decade, leading Northwestern to four straight Big Ten titles and three straight Women's College World Series from 1984 to 1986. So today, on behalf of Northwestern, I have the privilege of presenting you, Morgan Newport, with the 2021 Lisa Ishikawa Award. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I have the privilege of presenting you, Julie Byrne, the 2021 Lisa Ishikawa Award. Julie Byrne made an immediate impact on Northwestern tennis after transferring to Evanston in 2017. In her first season, Byrne posted a 78% winning percentage in singles and doubles, helping lead the Cats to the NCAA Tournament Round of 16. A two-time All-Big Ten and academic All-Big Ten honoree, Byrne has worked her way through adversity on and off the court, balancing a fierce competitive spirit with a positive attitude and serving as a team leader throughout her career. Morgan Newport worked her way from a limited playing role to a full-time starter in the outfield, significant spot in the pitching rotation and cleanup batter for Northwestern softball. In 2018, Newport pitched a no-hitter against Michigan State in the Big Ten Tournament and started all NCAA regional games in the circle. This spring, she was twice named Big Ten Player of the Week, had a walk-off home run to beat Illinois, and posted career best numbers at the plate, batting over 300 and leading the Wildcats in home runs and RBI. A three-time academic All-Big Ten honoree, Newport serves in a SAC leadership role and is heavily involved with community service efforts. Um, I'd like to say thank you so much to my coaches, um, my athletic advisors, my teammates for the past five years. It's um, been an incredible experience, I don't think. It would have been as great without those people around me who really supported and added to the experience. Um, yeah, I'd just like to say once again thanks to Claire, Julian and my teammates for everything they've done for me. It's been a great five years. Thanks. First of all, Alicia Ishikawa is like the coolest softball player ever. Um, so it's so cool to have the opportunity to get this award and I'm just so thankful for Northwestern and being able to be here for five years has just been the most Me incredible too. experience. Um, and I just, I love this place. So, go Cats. Please welcome back head men's tennis coach, Arvid Swan. The Billy McKinney Award is presented each spring to the senior male student athlete who exhibited exemplary leadership qualities, constant effort and a positive attitude that in his coach's estimation makes him a coach's dream. McKinney graduated as Northwestern's all-time leading scorer, netting 1,900 points for the men's basketball team from 1973 to 77. This year, it is my privilege to present this award to Chris Efron. 
Chris Efron has set a strong example as a leader for men's tennis. After earning a regular spot in the lineup during his sophomore season, Efron went 10-2 at the number two single spot as a junior in 2019. This spring, he joined with teammate Dominic Sterry at number two doubles, where the pair won 10 consecutive matches and route to a 15-5 record and a win over number 23-ranked UCLA in the first round of the NCAA tournament. An academic All-Big Ten honoree, Efron's teammates feed off the energy he brings both at practice as well as in matches. It's definitely an honor to be receiving this award. Um, my last five years here have, have been amazing and I've, I've loved every step of it. And I just uh, want to make a quick thanks to uh, my whole team and Arvid and Kling especially. I mean, they've been amazing for me and they've helped me so much throughout the past years. So also thanks to everybody else uh, that's been a part of it with the athletic training staff, the academic advisors, and you for life, all of them. It's all been amazing resources, and I couldn't have done it without them, so go Cats. The most prestigious award a Big Ten Conference student athlete can earn is the Medal of Honor. To present our Big Ten Medals of Honor, our Deputy Athletics Director, Danae Barracato, Head Women's Basketball Coach, Joe McEwen, and Head Wrestling Coach, Matt Storniolo. The Big Ten Medal of Honor was first awarded in 1915 to one student athlete from graduating class of each university who had the great proficiency in athletics and scholastic work. The Big Ten Medal of Honor was first awarded in 1915 to one student athlete from the graduating class of each university who attained the greatest proficiency in athletics and scholastic work. More than 9,500 student athletes compete for Big Ten institutions each year, as you know. Um, 28 earn uh, the prestigious Big Ten Medal of Honor, a list that includes some of the most accomplished men and women in conference history. Track and field star Harold G. Osborne won the first Big Ten Medal of Honor in 1915. Northwestern greats like Luke Donald, Luke Brown, and Pat Fitzgerald have won the Big Ten Medal of Honor in its over 100 year history. I will officially announce that Lindsay Pulliam, you are Northwestern's female winner for the 2021 Big Ten Medal of Honor. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Lindsay Pulliam has wanted set records at every turn during her four years at Northwestern, cementing herself as one of the most impactful Wildcats of all time. She's an All-American and a four-time All-Big Ten honoree, including a unanimous first-team selection in 2020. She completed her career as the third-leading scorer in program history, starting 123 games for Northwestern and logging over 4,000 career minutes while becoming just the third player in program history to cross the 2,000-point threshold. As the team's leading scorer in the 2020 season, she helped the Wildcats set a program record with 26 wins and route to delivering Northwestern its first Big Ten championship since 1990. In her senior season, she helped the Wildcats secure their second NCAA tournament appearance of the century and led all players with 25 points in a 62-51 win over UCF for Northwestern's first NCAA tournament win in 28 years. This past April, she was selected 27th overall in the WNBA draft, becoming the third player in program history to be drafted. I mean, I just want to say thank you to you guys, because obviously I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. So thank you for letting me be a part of the family for the past four years and, you know, taking care of me and. Um, just let me be me on, on and off the court. Um, it's truly been a blessing, and I couldn't have asked for a better experience. So thank you. So that we are honored that you're part of that legacy. So we'd like to announce that you are the male winner of the 2021 Big Ten Medal of Honor, you, Mr. Ryan Deacon. Thank you. That's awesome. One of the most dominant student athletes in Northwestern history, Ryan Deacon has altered the trajectory of Northwestern wrestling in his five years on campus. He is a four-time NCAA tournament qualifier, four-time academic All-Big Ten honoree, 
three-time All-American and has been Northwestern's Big Ten Male Athlete of the Year nominee in back-to-back years. In 2020, Deacon put together one of the most accomplished single seasons in Northwestern history, finishing as the undisputed number one ranked wrestler at 157 pounds with a perfect 21-0 record while becoming just the second Northwestern wrestler ever to be named a finalist for the prestigious Hodge Trophy. In 2021, the Broomfield, Colorado native captured his second straight Big Ten championship in emphatic fashion, winning his three matches by a combined 28 to one margin. In the 2021 NCAA championships, he earned the highest national finish of his career with a third place showing, becoming just the ninth Wildcat ever to earn three All-American accolades in their career. Um, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. It's been uh, amazing being here just the last, you know, five years. Um, and, you know, I didn't, I had no idea that this was happening. Just came in here to <laughs> wrestle with Storny this morning. Um, so a little caught off guard, but um, no, it's that's amazing. And I think I, it just speaks volumes of, you know, the people around this, this program and university, I think, um, you know, when I first started committed here, I think it was, I had no idea how much of an impact this place would have on me and how um, special this place really was. So um, yeah, just, just really thank you to everybody. It has become a tradition at the end club induction to invite two outstanding senior student athletes to offer reflections on their time at Northwestern. Please join me in welcoming from women's soccer, Nia Harris, followed by Jack Paglarini from baseball. Dear Wildcats, friends and family, I'm Nia Harris, a senior on the Northwestern women's soccer team. And it truly doesn't get easier saying what year I am, but here we are just days away from the end of our Northwestern career. Some tell us what a dream it is to play college sports or what a dream it is to go to a top notch university and all the opportunities it will bring Others may say it's impossible or that we're lucky, but we're not. We all came to Northwestern for a reason. And whether or not you know what that reason is now, or you're still trying to figure it out and you're hoping it'll jump out at you. But at the end of the day, we were all picked and chosen and put on a team with people from all around the world. And they told us, okay, let's win some championships. For some of us, we won those championships and they were amazing. And those are memories we're gonna remember forever. For others, we never quite reached that milestone, but we were so close and we spent every single day trying to shorten the distance. Regardless of the result, those events didn't happen by chance. Being a student athlete at Northwestern is hard. The public didn't see us walking to university library in the snow just to get in our six hours of study time in one south. They didn't see us going to our weekly meetings with our advisor or laying in bed trying to sleep eight hours before a big competition, but we can't because Buddy in the dorm next to us is throwing some type of party. They didn't see us walking in the dark to our 6 a.m. weightlifting or us trying to balance a laptop and a textbook in our laps while we're sitting in a bus on the way to the competition. The public doesn't see our countless hours in the athletic training room trying to lessen our aches, all while eating enough protein having enough carbs, eating enough greens, and staying hydrated. The public didn't see how hard we tried to stay motivated while we were stuck at home for months and we couldn't see our teammates or our coaches and we only could see them on Zoom. And of course, the public didn't see the countless hours that went into learning from our mistakes and trying to learn new ways to win. They saw us on our fields, the pitch, the court, the pools, and so many others hoping that we'll get victories on our scoreboards. Little do they know the time, the effort, and the skill it took for us to play our best game. As we wrap up our time at Northwestern, make sure the public knows how hard you worked. Be the best employee they recruited that year. Be the best player they signed. Be the hardest working graduate student they have. Be the best companion to your family and friends like you were to your teammates. And be the best at saying, I'm not sure what's happening after graduation, but I'm working on it. And lastly, be the best wildcat you can be because the N never comes off. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jack Paglarini and I'm a senior on the baseball team. 
Charlie Bourbon is a fellow senior, great friend, working the guitar tonight. As we spend tonight recognizing our incredibly talented peers for their successes over the past year, it is important that we allow ourselves to reflect on our experiences on the field, in the classroom, and also in our relationships with one another in this athletics community. Northwestern is a truly special place, but it's always the people that have kept it that way. Regardless of when I look back on my struggles or successes here, I always recall the people I'm spending my time with more than the things that we were doing. Spending time together on the buses or in the hotel rooms on road trips, or just simple late night visits to Sarge. These friendships have been growing since the day I stepped on campus freshman year. To my teammates and my best friends, I love you guys. For the rest of you, it's been such a pleasure spending these past four years here with you. Seniors, thank you so much for your commitment and contributions to your teammates, to your coaches, and to all the members of this community. For setting the standard for years to come at this great place, you guys have all played a great role in the continued athletic successes at Northwestern. And looking forward, as we move on in our lives, there's gonna be a lot of changes, switching jobs or different living places and whatever else you can think of. Regardless of all that, we'll have always spent our time here together. And that's special. With that, I urge us all to keep in touch and to allow this place to remain a large part of who you are. So seniors, thanks again. You guys rock. Good luck and go Cats. To close this year's ceremony, please welcome back Morgan Newport. Wow, what an amazing show. Um, my name is Morgan Newport, um, and I'm a fifth year senior and a member of the softball team, as well as a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee Executive Board. I just want to say congrats to all the winners and a special congrats to our seniors. It's been a long road with a very interesting end. Um, but the resilience you have all shown is so amazing. Um, so put on those purple robes, seniors, take some pics and really enjoy the moment. You have earned it. Um, thank you to our senior speakers. Thank you to all the presenters tonight. Uh, and just thank you to everyone for, for joining us tonight. Um, congratulations again to all the winners um, and everyone for watching it and making it through an unforgettable year. Um, in true NU fashion, we are going to celebrate um, the end of this show with the fight song. So please stand and join me as we sing, Go You Northwestern. Go Cats.